a lovely night in this camping site called Camping Utah Beach. Yeah, um, right, sort of across the road from Utah Beach. Um, we went to the museum, and um, and then uh, we found this campsite, and uh, then we took a long, a couple of long walks along the beach, didn't we? Really nice. And Lewis got the drone up as well. Eventually, yeah, yes. when everybody cleared off. Yeah, because <laughs> it was rather busy with school kids there visiting. But um, but it was peaceful from five o'clock onwards. It was a beautiful evening. The site's really nice. I really like this site, and it was o only 18 euros. Um, the toilets are nice, nice and near to where we are and everything. The only downside was, even though they give you a ticket for the internet, the Wi-Fi is dire, isn't it? We we couldn't even watch YouTube videos on there, so uh, we ended up playing Candy Crush and Sudoku, didn't we? <laughs> For the last hour, last night after dinner. They obviously don't need the internet around here. <laughs> no, I don't Still think read. they do. <laughs> and we picked up some chips from the uh, snack van, didn't we, on the way back from the beach. And they said, oh, do you want to get big chips? So we asked for two big chips. Oh, my God, there was enough for four people there. So we never ended up eating our pizza. We just pigged out on chips and fed the birds chips, didn't we? Yeah, all, all the sparrows around here are full up with them. So. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but it was a good evening. And um, today we're heading, well, towards Calais. I'm not sure if you've got any thoughts about if you want to stop anywhere. Um, Condet or somewhere along yeah. that, that stretch of coast. Yeah, we might do one night there and then um, we're planning on coming back, ho going back home Sunday. Uh, family commitments, isn't it? Work and stuff like that for Monday. Um, and I can get all the uh, stuff edited and on YouTube. Because <laughs> you certainly can't do it on the road. The Wi-Fi is dire. <laughs> it's a nightmare. And if you realising a few of the things we need, we, we need yeah. some sort of booster for the internet so that, I mean, they're obviously using it in reception, but I don't see why we should sit in reception every night. I mean, I'm pretty certain we could stick some booster on the side of the van and, and rob it from there quite easily. Mm. But so that's something we want to do. Sorting out what we need. Uh, um, we need a new leisure battery. I think the leisure battery is, is on its way out. And that's why um, we're struggling with the heater, isn't it? It's just not coming on. Yeah, I'm wondering if the heater is just... It's, although there's enough to power the lights and the water pump and things like that, I'm wondering if it's... From what I've read, the heaters can be quite critical on voltage, so I'm wondering if it's, it's just too low. Because mm, um, it just amazingly comes on when we park up. And then dies, doesn't it? Yeah, twice now. When just when we've pulled up, put the electrics on, it's fired up all on its own. But after that, it it won't have it. I mean, in the morning, it's a complete and waste that's, of time. And that's so when you need it. <laughs> it's rather brisk in the mornings, to say <laughs> the least. Half. But I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to be in here in the middle of winter, though, without no, any no, heating. No, you wouldn't want to be in here in the middle of winter. It's, um, um, any other things we thought we needed? Um, I don't ah, know. we wanted a um, car charger for the laptop. Car charger for the laptop, yeah, which we haven't got. Um, I think that might be it, actually. And obviously clearing out a few things that we haven't used. Yes. And perhaps replacing them with things that we will use. Yeah. I mean, our pans are pretty... We, we robbed some from the house, but they're just... Uh, they're either too big or too small. Yeah, um, so I know I've got some better ones in the loft. And perhaps a bigger frying pan for things that you can actually warm up. Yeah. But you need a, a sort of a, yeah, a large diameter frying do, pan rather than... We did some in... We did it in two halves in the end, didn't two we? Two halves, we did, yeah. We did rice and warmed up the rice, mixed rice, and then we had to warm up the noodles separately. So, uh, yeah, because we couldn't get it all in the pan. So, oh, yeah. so perhaps just one pan and... Um, decent sized frying mm. pan but it was it's, it was a good learning curve two week learning curve we um, haven't used the grill yet obviously because we didn't use the, didn't no we were going to have pizzas with our chips last night but there were so many chips we just had chips <laughs> so it was a bit mundane even I like chips but I did miss the pizza <laughs> but I couldn't eat it so we'll cook that maybe tonight 
So I'll let, let you know how that goes. <laughs> okay, well, I suppose we better get on the road. It's um, nine o'clock, so we're going to go and pick our bread up from the reception. And fill the water up. Fill the water up, and then we're off. So see you soon. Pink means by the sea. And it's a beautiful day. Lots of surfers. And this is probably about I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes in Keller. Yeah, not far at all. It's a, it's a lovely little place. We've been here before. In fact, I think it was about four or five years ago, we were walking down this very beach and some young lad was getting in such a state surfer because he'd actually um, lost his GoPro while he was surfing and he was hunting the beach for it for about an hour felt really sorry for him and right down there somewhere down there is um, a bombed bunker and uh, we walked there all those years ago. We came over the dunes. But yeah, we came over the dunes through the uh, national park. 
I think it's something like about eight miles we trekked. No, it was about 15 in the end. In, there and back, yeah. So we were exhausted, but um, that was a lovely day. And we will be coming back and doing that again, but not this holiday. We're planning on getting the um, ferry tonight, we think. Yeah, late as well. So about right, 11 or yeah. 12 o'clock or something like that at night. So I presume it's safe on the road to Calais at that time of night. <laughs> we can lock all the doors. Yeah, I think we'll do that. <laughs> I don't want the stowaway trying to get aboard. <laughs> well, we came out of Calais. Yeah, they're not, they're not trying to get into France, so are they from Calais? <laughs> yeah, but they are going to hide in a VW camper. Aren't they? So, uh, yeah, we shall see. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to stroll back along the promenade and take you with us. <laughs> There's a lot of holiday apartments being built at the moment overlooking the sea there seem to be even more being built than um, when we were here last but then again they have got a beautiful view get closer Is some outlook from your balcony. Hi guys, we're um, at the Calais Ch Channel Tunnel, waiting to get on the Euro Tunnel. Um, we decided to go for that because it was only actually about £20 more than if we went by ferry tonight and uh, we'd saved about 40 quid on tolls by coming up the um, the non-toll roads along the coast of France so we thought yeah we'll do that and so we should be home because we didn't book a return journey so no because we didn't know what day we'd come back but uh, we've got to be back for Monday now so we thought well it gives us Sunday at home cut the grass tidy up <laughs> tidy up um, get all the washing done and everything and um, yeah so scrape all the bugs off the camper yeah, yeah, the front of it, God, is covered. It needs a good wash, doesn't it? But then, how many miles have we done? At the moment, we've done 2,275. Yeah. So, uh, we've done some miles, and that's our first trip, trial run. So, uh, looking forward to more trips. We've just got another 170 or something to get back 170 home. 170 to get back home. So, um, not too bad. So yeah, so we're just heading to get up down to the train. So I'll turn the camera around and then you'll be able to see us getting loaded onto the train. So it's 8.20 at the moment. No, well that's the, t it's 8, 8.10 is it? 8.04. It's 8.04, but we're meant to be getting on the 8.20. Sorry, it's 7.48. Oh, right. That record we should... The, oh, the 7.48, so we must be getting on an early train or something, because... Um, yeah, because we're not meant to be leaving Calais until 8.20, so maybe we'll get an early one, I don't know. Mm. Which means we'll get home earlier. Which will be nice. Better pre-warn the children so they can um, tidy up. Otherwise, tidy we'll have up, loads of time. wash up, Hoover. <laughs> yeah, clear might... all the bins and bottles and jars and everything yeah, else. Pizza they, boxes. I think they think they've got till tomorrow evening, so we might catch them out. But yeah, here's the uh, the train. Squeeze us in 
somewhere. After our long journey, we're very tired. We got the ferry, not the ferry, the Channel Tunnel, eight o'clock, and we've just got in. Lewis is exhausted, he did all the driving, and we did a lot of driving today. Um, and um, we've had a text <coughs> from the kids, haven't we? We've had a text from the kids saying um, the animals are still alive. That's the dogs and the chickens. It's a bit the of a loose term, I mean. <laughs> yeah, they might be on their last breath. <laughs> And I, when I say kids, don't everyone get, we didn't leave our kids home alone. They are well over 18, um, all in full-time employment, and they are quite capable of ordering takeaway, as they do all the time. Yeah. So they won't have starved. So on that note of takeaway, we've got our fish and chips for when we get in. And uh, we'd just like to say thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. Any comments, any questions, that please down below and um, we'll see you soon. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. See you soon. Bye.